Hello again, Year 10. Welcome to another short instructional video on how we can use our CAS uh, to draw straight line graphs. Today we're going to be um, extending what we did last time a little bit. Last time we worked out how to use the solve function on our CAS to find the x and y axis intercepts. Today we're going to be doing that again, but we're going to then be using the CAS uh, to use those intercepts to draw the graph. Um, just before we get started, as, as we normally do, just make sure that you've got your CAS out and you're doing everything that I do as I do it. You've got your finger over the pause button, that you've got a pen and paper ready to write down any questions um, or feedback that you've got for me. Um, yeah, and uh, if you want to pause the video now and get those things ready, that'd be great. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is... Um, uh, is find our axis intercepts and, and this, the graph we're going to be using today is the graph of 3y minus 4x equals 12. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to go to the main window and we're going to use that solve function that we used last time. Now solve function appears in lots of little, lots of the different keyboards. Um, I'm going to click on math three because it also has this nice given symbol that you might remember me talking about last time. So what I have to do to find my intercepts is to solve for the conditions when x is zero for the y-intercept and for y is zero for the x-intercept. And you hopefully you'll remember that from last time. So I'm going to type solve. I'm going to type 3y minus 4x equals 12 and then up, sorry, equals 12. And then I'm going to use this given symbol. So I'm telling my solve function the condition that applies. So I'm going to say for the, for, let's say for the y-axis intercept, we'll do that first. Given that, x equals 0. And what I'm going to need to do is tell my solve function that I'm solving for y. I want to know what y equals when x equals zero. So my first intercept, my y-intercept, y-intercept at, and it's going to be x is zero, and y is four. Beautiful. All right. Now I want to show you a cool trick that you can do using your little pencil um, on your um, on your calculator. It's the, uh, the highlight and, and drag and drop. So I can actually highlight and drag and drop that whole guy there. Click, drop, and you can do the same thing um, because I just want to adjust a couple of things to find my x-axis intercept, which occurs when y equals 0. And I want to solve for x. There we go. And it's going to give me my x-axis intercept, which is, so I'm going to write x intercept at, and it's minus 3 and 0. Oopsie. Zero. So now I've got my two intercepts. Now I can sketch my graph. So we're going to skip across to the geometry window like we've been doing. We're going to click on geometry. And if you see something a little bit different to this, just make sure you've got your toggle button. Uh, you're pressing your toggle button until you get this grid. I think zooming in to five 5 minus 5 minus 5 is a is a good uh, is a good window for us to use with these particular intercepts. All right. So last time when we were plotting a graph, we chose from our little drop down menu here, we chose the y equals f of x function. Today we're going to choose the infinite line button because we want to um, uh, plot these points and see what the graph looks like. So click on the infinite line button. And then all we have to do is plot these two points. So the y-intercept is at 0, 4, 0, 4. That is the point 0, 4. The x-intercept is at minus 3, 0. Bang. And that is what our graph looks like. That's the graph of y, 3y minus 4x equals 12. I hope this was a useful video. Um, please let me know any feedback. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time.